Hey everybody, today I have to make a confession to you all, so I encourage you uh, to stay tuned with us as this is Pastor Kyle coming to you from the North Hills Church of God here in Springfield, Ohio, and this is North Hills Motivation, where we motivate you to grow closer to God and expand His kingdom. And this week, we're talking about pleasing God, not people. So as we talk about pleasing God and not people today, I must confess that sometimes I let my desire of pleasing people get in the way of my desire and necessity of pleasing God. You know, this is a common issue for a handful of people. I myself, when you take a look at the Enneagram, a personality test, there's nine different possibilities, different personalities that we all may exhibit. And I'm a three. I'm an achiever. Um, I don't know if there's any other number three achievers out there. And we are highly driven by, uh, we're highly motivated by how people view us, what they think about us. And so sometimes I'm so motivated by that. I'm so motivated by what people think about me that I'm more concerned about pleasing people than pleasing God. And this is a huge danger that we have to stay away from. Paul in the book of Galatians chapter 1, he talks about this issue. In Galatians chapter 1 verse 10, the apostle Paul writes, For I am now seeking the approval of man or of God. Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. And so here, Paul, he, he puts it out pretty straightforward that if your purpose is to please man, then you cannot, you are not a servant of Christ. And this is a huge warning sign for me. This may be a huge warning sign for you as well, that we have to stay away from our main motivation, pleasing people rather than pleasing God. You know, Paul puts it even more straightforward in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4, where Paul writes, But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak not to please man, but to please God who tests our hearts. And so I'd just like to encourage you today to let your main motivation in life to please God. Don't let your motivation of pleasing people get in the way of pleasing God. Now, what this does not mean is that we should not love our enemies. In fact, or love people. In fact, if we want to please God, then we must love people. I mean, Jesus said this was the second most important commandment, only behind loving God with all that we have. So remember, our mission in life is not to please people, but it's to please God. Take care.